Next topic, we have clock problems. So, we have here, what time after 7 o'clock will the hands of the clock be opposite each other for the first time? Okay, so what are the steps in solving clock problem? First, you set the clock at the initial time indicated in the problem. And then next, you position the hands of the clock as indicated in the final position in the problem. And then take note that the principle is when the minute hand moves by a number of minutes equal to x, then the hour hand correspondingly moves by a number of minutes equal to x over 12. Okay? So for this problem, we will start by setting the hands of the clock at 7 o'clock. No? So we have that here, 7 o'clock. Then position the hands such that they are in opposite position to each other. So we have that. Uh, so meaning, the number of minutes, we have now the minute hand, it has moved by x minutes. So we have that, and correspondingly, the hour hand moves by x over 12. So the next step is to form the equation. And in this final position, when the hands of the clock are opposite to each other, then the number of minutes in between the hour hand and the minute hand here is 30 minutes. So we can write the number of minutes x plus 30 minutes that is equal to 35 plus x over 12. No? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I will write it here. So x plus 30 equal to 35 plus x over 12. And from this equation, you can solve for x. So the time is 7, 5, 45. Next problem we have here. What time after 8 o'clock p.m. when the hands of the clock are together for the first time? Okay. So the initial time is 8 o'clock. And then the final position is that the hands are together. So we have that position here. Okay. So we have now the number of minutes traveled by the minute hand from this 12 mark up to this point here. So that is now the x minutes. And correspondingly, if you consider the other hand, it has moved by x over 12 minutes. And then based on the figure, form equation. So we can simply say that the number of minutes x is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, plus x over 12. So I will write it here. So x is equal to 40 plus x over 12. And we can solve for x that is equal to 43.64 minutes. So the time is 8, 64. Next problem. It is now past 9 o'clock. In 15 minutes, the minute hand will be behind by the hour hand as far as one half as it is now behind it. What time is it now? Okay. So, the stated initial time here is 9 o'clock. And then, after 9 o'clock, no? Uh, Past 9 o'clock, let us say this is the time. So, the minute hand is behind by the hour hand by the number of, by a number of minutes. And as the situation says, from this given time, after 15 minutes, so let us say, we will now move the minute hand and the hour hand. And that is now the position. So, when the minute hand has moved by 15 minutes, then this position in which the minute hand is behind by the hour hand, this number of minutes, I call this Y. 
when it has moved or the minute hand has moved 15 minutes then the number of minutes that the minute hand is behind by the hour hand is now only one half of this amount so this is y over 2 okay so what is the time or what is the number of minutes x so that we can solve for the time okay so we will start from 9 o'clock we will now move the hands of the clock here so this is now x minutes so correspondingly the hour hand moved by x over 12 okay so we will now let the minute hand move by 15 minutes and when it has moved by 15 minutes the hour hand moved correspondingly by 15 over 12 okay so in that red hands so the number of minutes now if we will now compare the number of minutes that the minute hand is behind by the hour hand so in this black colored hands the number of minutes that the minute hand is behind by the hour hand is y and when it has moved by 15 minutes as indicated by the red hands then the number of minutes that the minute hand is behind by the hour hand is now half of this or y over 2 okay so we can now form the equation so my first equation is that when I will add number of minutes x plus 15 uh, x plus y. Huh? So number of minutes x plus y then that is equal to 45 plus x over 12. I hope you see it. Huh? So again, x plus y is equal to 45 plus x over 12 so i have that here so i can express y in terms of x from this equation and then i can have another equation so what is my another equation i will write x plus 15 huh? so x plus 15 plus y over 2 x plus 15 plus y over 2 so that is from the 12 to this red hour hand and that is also equal to 45 plus x over 12 plus 15 over 12 so that is also number of minutes from the 12 mark to the red hour hand so i will write it so x plus 15 plus y over 2 is equal to 45 plus x over 12 plus 15 over 12. So simplifying, I can have this equation and finally this and then I can substitute y. So substituting equation 1 to equation 2 for y, so I can solve for my x and x here is equal to 19.09. So the time so this time in black hands past nine o'clock is nine nineteen point zero nine.